Hey there, I'm Ugu from Tech Corner TV, and today I have another mailbag for you. Lot of package to open, so without further ado, let's start unpacking. Okay, I already unpacked one of the, those combined package from AliExpress. Uh, I have to say that today is all about um, laser cutting and laser accessories. I ordered uh, Wayne Luke's GL4 uh, laser cutter or laser engraver. And to be able to do a proper review, I order a lot of materials for that laser engraver. And this is the order that is arriving with all of that. The first uh, material that I have here, let me see if there is nothing more. So the first material that I ordered is a carbon, a fiber carbon plate. Uh, let me try to open this so I can show you. It's giving a fight. Okay, so this is carbon fiber. Uh, it's a plate to try to cut this with the laser engraver. And yeah, the first one. Uh, next, I have this one. It might have something also for electronics, but I don't believe so. This order was all about, uh, almost all about uh, cutting materials. Okay. We have another one here that is, um, I think this is acrylic, black acrylic for cutting also. It's something like two to three millimeters. And I have in here, I believe that's also black acrylic, but five millimeters. Let me see. Yeah, that's it. It has a protective layer on top of it. And this is also uh, five millimeters or millimeters for cutting. Okay, let's see what else we have here. And well, this one, it's not uh, neither electronics or uh, material for cutting. Those are two remotes. Let me show you. Two remotes uh, control for Tuya software that you put inside a, a derivation box and you are able to remotely connect to the house using Alexa or Google Assistant or something else. As I told you in a previous uh, mailbag, I, I want to start understanding better and see what I can do to program these devices. So I ordered two. I already bought also two intelligent uh, sockets for for this uh, project, and yeah, let's see. It seems okay. It's it was quite cheap, uh, four to five euros each of that controllers. It's not uh, expensive. Okay, and one of the projects that I started working again, and I will publish some videos on the electronics channel and maybe on the reviews channel, the gadget reviews also, is my uh, slider, my camera slider. And for that I ordered, uh, this is, uh, well, this is nuts, uh, that, that kind of nuts that you hit and you can uh, insert in the 3D printed uh, Parts. Uh, this is quarter inch nuts that will be able to connect, for example, to a tripod or anything else for photography. So I can mount the slider on a tripod. Uh, this is a bag with 20 or 25. I think there is also another one in here because I ordered two. I don't know, quarter inch, it's American measurement. And there is also another 
one, and I, I'm not familiar with the, with this kind of uh, measure. So I order two to see what, which one of them I will need. Okay, so uh, I'm converted also to resin printing, and I ordered a lot of uh, bags, uh, bottles of white, and I, I like to print stuff in red. Let me change the camera. And this is pigment for <clears throat> for colorant. Uh, there is no red ink in 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 selling. Only pink or well a wine color. So I ordered a few bottles of this to to make red. I have a lot of bottles of white to make other colors. And yeah, some bottles of uh, colorant pigment to be able to create red for my 3D printing uh, with resin. And we have here a few more stuff for engraving. I will do in the beginning of this year. Ah, no, 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 this is not for engraving. It's for uh, also projects on laser, on a laser engraver, but those are uh, copper. PCBs for laser uh, etching. Well, it's not laser etching, it's laser marking. Uh, and after marked, you will apply the, you, you apply some uh, black ink on top of it. Then you will use the laser to remove the exposed uh, copper. And yeah, and you will, it, it is a very good and effective method of creating home uh, PCBs for uh, prototyping because it takes a long time to come from China, from the, the factories, and we can do it faster like this. And when we have the project ready, you just need to, to order the final boards. As I told you before, I ordered two sets this this first one is 20 and this second one it's 25 and they have a small difference in measurements and i didn't know what else what which one to order so i ordered both this is much longer as you can see it's much longer than this one yeah i'm set so a new slider project will come in very soon. And we have another stuff for engraving for the engraver, the laser engraver review. Let me. Damn. This is acrylic and it's an orange one. And if this works okay. Uh, certainly, I will start doing more stuff in acrylic. But I'm glad that this for this is for cutting because I already made a mistake here. Okay, so another board. Nothing special. Just to see if the the printer the the laser engraver is able to cut through this. And the last thing I, I will show you, it's something I ordered also for, it, it is better when you are trying to cut something. Let me show you, I will most there. As I told you today, it's all about uh, laser engravers. So I have a lot, ah, no, wait. So this is, I have, no idea, let me see. Okay, let me. Okay, so uh, I was talking about the slider project for my the photography slider project. This is um, EPROMs. Uh, I think they are 2K EPROMs, SMD, as I told you. I already have the deep version, but I want to, to make a board using SMD. I'm totally convert to SMD. 
And so I ordered these aprons to save the Wi-Fi settings and the, the current position of the to memorize the position of the, the slider in the trail uh, in the rails and everything else. So yeah, some more parts for that project. I'm glad that they arrive fast. And another part for engraving. Let me try to open this without using the knife. Yeah, that's better. And this one, I think it's transparent. Yeah. This is a transparent uh, acrylic. Also, uh, well, it has this protective layer in both sides, so it's not transparent right now. But this is also to test if the, the printer is able to cut it. Okay, moving on. And the last two I know for sure that are also for the laser engraver. And are two of the most important things I bought for that engraver. The first one is, uh, let me show you. Yeah, this is a protective cover to, to put in the laser. Oh, so uh, we don't have always to be wearing glasses or at least to give a reinforcement uh, while this is cutting. And yeah, it's a simple cover for the laser engraver. It will go up and down so we can uh, focus the, the laser point. And the last one is also for the laser engraving. This one it's from Sculpfen. And I ordered this one because, let me show you. It is well packed, and here it is. We start by having a rubber feet to install in here, and what I have here is a small uh, honeycomb for laser cutting. The idea be behind this is you'll be able to cut through whatever you are cutting without damaging the well the table or the whatever is below you have also um, aluminium sheet to to put be, be below and yeah i i love this this one uh, it came from european warehouses as you know i'm located in portugal in in the western part of the europe and this is the only one that I found that has a measurement ruler here. And this is perfect for uh, PCB or, well, PCB cutting. You have the precise measure measurements when you put here the, the things. And you can have exactly uh, the position and everything else. So this is only one extra accessory. A nice one. Let me show you from the top. And the idea be, be, be behind this is to be able to use it like this with a PCB. Or, well, the, the PCB is not for cutting, but this is also a, a good working pad because you can always be sure where, the, where is the, the zero point when marking. For example, for if you want to do double side PCB, it's always in the same position, so it's much more easier to... Well, this one, it's not cut correctly. Uh, but it's, it's more easier to, to create a, a, well, a PCB that with, a, with, a, with the holes from the top to the bottom. Uh, yeah, a line. Yeah, that's it. I think this is a very nice acquisition. It has... 150 millimeters by 250 and that's it for today
it was all about uh, laser engraving. So next week, probably we'll have some more electronics. I, I saw the orders coming. So the next uh, week, it will have much more stuff for electronics. If in any way this video was useful to you, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that bell so you can be the first one to be notified whenever I post a new video. That's it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Cheers.